We're going to be honest. Doing research on a small private company is never easy, and ETP is no exception. Private companies have real financial and strategic incentives not to publicly disclose information about themselves, such as how they make their money, who their customers are, or what they're thinking about doing next. Therefore, you'll find very little information on ETP, either in our Kelly databases or on the web. You will not be able to get financials or detailed outlines of current practices and initiatives. There is a very basic profile of the company in Privco, which you can find by searching the company name. While you're in Privco, though, you might look to identify other small minority-owned tech businesses. You may find some news on them, and that may be enlightening, or there may be opportunities for a strategic alliance or other initiative. One easy way to search from the profile on ETP is to click on one of the classification keywords, like minority-led, and then further refine your search by clicking filters here. Now you can select the tech industry, and even limit your results to Chicago, here, under locations. Of course you should delve into every corner of the company's website, but don't waste your time looking elsewhere for more information about ETP itself. The Q&A with the client is the best opportunity you have to ask questions and get specific answers about the company. In order to help Evanston Technology Partners meet current and future demand for its services, you need to understand what's going on in those industries and why, as well as what is projected to happen with markets, trends, and purchase drivers over the next several years. Which product and market segments are poised for the most growth? What are developing trends and technologies? For understanding ETP's key industries, we can turn to databases like Ibis World, First Research, and Frost and & Sullivan. IBIS World, for example, has reports on IT security consulting and data processing and hosting services. These reports have a SWOT analysis for the industry, discuss key trends, and projections for future demand. Don't miss the iExpert summary under the tab on the left with the light bulb icon. This repeats a lot of the information from the main report, but scroll down for sections on important factors both inside and outside the industry that are critical to success. Keep in mind that different databases might use different language. First Research, which you can find by accessing Merchant Intellect and then scrolling down to select the First Research box, has this report called Managed Application and Network Services that is focused on the cloud services market, which is not immediately clear from the title. When in doubt, it might help to search for some of ETP's larger partners like Amazon Web Services or AWS. Frost & Sullivan has various market reports that detail cloud computing and cybersecurity in various industries. There are reports on cybersecurity in the healthcare, automotive, and industrial sectors, for example, and this report that discusses the growth potential of cybersecurity within cloud computing. Get up to speed with what's happening in the cloud by reading this report on the state of the cloud and see various other reports on the way the cloud is being used and managed in a variety of business contexts. Understanding the key functions and developing trends in these industries will help you understand the context in which ETP is operating and may also help you to refine your plan for creating a talent pipeline. Now move on to video 3 for advice on researching demographics.